Hello and welcome to another Nintendo News Network Top List. Today I'm looking back in the history of Nintendo games and picking out my top 5 games that need sequels on the Switch that we don't already know about. Because Pikmin would be on here, but we know Pikmin 4 is in development. I will also not include games that really don't have much of a chance of making it on the Switch. I'm looking at you Banjo-Kazooie. Number 5. Star Wars Rogue Squadron Spanning across the Nintendo 64 and GameCube, the Rogue Squadron games were always a ton of fun. It was nice to revisit the original trilogy in a game and a time right before and during where the prequels were just about everywhere. The flying was a ton of fun and you got to explore more of that galaxy far, far away. And I know many people who say just bring the Battlefront games to the Switch, I'm more of mad on that idea. The Rogue games were always something special, and with how the Star Wars universe has grown over the past few years, there are so many new ideas of places that games could go. Just call it Rogue Squadron 1. See what I did there? Sorry. Anyways, a ton of gamers would be jumping into the cockpit to take this game for a spin if it came to the Switch. Number 4. Luigi's Mansion Although Green Mario has been hunting ghosts since 2001 back as a GameCube release title, he has only gotten one other game in the series. And as much as I enjoyed Dark Moon, I would love to see Luigi's Mansion go back to how it was in the GameCube era. More of a free roaming around the mansion and not mission based. It is not like the games were not well received or didn't sell well, they both did decent. Perhaps it is trying to figure out how or why Luigi gets another mansion is the problem. Well, don't give him a mansion. Imagine if Peach's castle is haunted by King Boo and his ghost crew. Wouldn't it be awesome if Luigi has to look through the castle we know and love from Super Mario 64? Come on Nintendo, let's get on this game now! Number 3. Diddy Kong Racing We already sort of got Mario Kart on the Switch, and I do think we will get Mario Kart 9 eventually, but I think in the meantime a new Diddy Kong Racing would be great. It was more of a racing adventure, having boss races using different vehicles long before Sonic All-Star did it, and using items in a different fashion than Mario Kart, making it stand on its own. I know it was rare who made it back in the day, but Nintendo could give it to an internal team or even a team like Retro who has worked with Donkey Kong before. Yes, the character lineup would be pretty different, but Donkey Kong has plenty of characters. Overall, the games include K. Rule, please, so I think it could work. I know I'm ready to race, fly, and hover around some fun tracks. Number 2. Kid Icarus Uprising Uprising brought new life into the Kid Icarus series. Well, technically Brawl did by adding Pit, but Uprising gave the franchise a whole new lease on life. The game was a lot of fun, had amazing characters with some of the best dialogue in a game to date. By the end, you really cared for the heroes and felt like you were part of their fight due to that characterization. The game felt like it was a love letter from Sakurai to a franchise that was almost forgotten to time. Which you have to give Smash Brothers credit for bringing so many classic characters to the attention of gamers. But back to Uprising. Imagine the scope of the game on the Switch. I'd be ready to take flight with Pit in a heartbeat if a new game came out. And the number one game that deserves a sequel on the Switch, Super Mario RPG. Now, before you get your pitchforks and torches, hear me out. Most people know the history of the Mario RPG games. After the Super Nintendo original, we got Paper Mario and then the Mario Luigi series, but we never revisited the original game. It was Squaresoft, now Square, who made it. So many of the characters and locations belong to them, including fan favorite Geno. For the longest time, it seemed like it was a lost cause. But in recent years, Square and Nintendo has been working together more and more including having Cloud and Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U. There are even rumors that Final Fantasy XV might come to the Switch. What I'm getting at is with this relationship, Nintendo and Square could make a new Mario RPG. We could visit Geno and bring him back into the party, see how Mallow has been since reunited with his long lost parents, even have Smithy rebuilt for revenge. And no, Telling you what happened in a game that's been out for over 20 years is not really spoiling anything. I do love the Mario Lu and Luigi series, and most of the Paper Mario games. Well, half. But RPG was just something special. In fact, it was a lot of gamers' first real RPG, grabbing it just because Mario was in it. But it opened a floodgate to an amazing genre for many, and I think that legacy deserves to be revisited on the Switch. Well, those are my top five. But we want to hear from you. Do you agree? Disagree? 
What would you want on the Switch? We want to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And don't forget about our Patreon page. Bye.